Wow, it's Wolsey. Welcome back to building a Geometry Dash 2.2 layout. Was that a chest that just went past on the menu? Okay. Righty, so we are going to go back into Wacky. Like, whoa, it's Wacky. Uh, yeah, you can tell that Geometry Dash 2.2 is, is kind of revolutionary. Lots of camera changes, warps, gameplay changes. It's just so intense. And we're using the most chill song ever for our Swing Copter Spider Orb combined level. I completely messed up the game. We have plenty more to come in this video to build, so let's just get straight to it. To reset the camera for every start pause remember that i've been having a lot of fun just putting the spider orb in different game modes to be honest i think i'm just gonna put this down here we gotta check the edp box right here so we can see the gameplay borders i'm gonna move this a little bit further down and then put a little spike down here don't like how these spikes don't rotate on grid anymore that's kind of annoying so we can just put this right here and then what if we rotate the camera at the same time that would be kind of fire because you hit the spider orb but then it's going to treat you like you're the other way around in the ship, right? So maybe if we have oh, one second, maybe exponential in out right here, maybe we should decrease the move time. All right, let's do it. Let's try it in normal mode. Just see what happens. I'm so excited. Oh, it's kind of strange. Okay, we really got to play with... Oh, that's much better. The one second is great. I really like that. I'm going to add much more time to switch over though, I think. Now I'm scared because the camera was really disorientating for a second. I'm not really sure what the best course of action for this gameplay is, but why not? We're here to test. Wait, now it rotates on grid? What? Okay, now I'm confused. How did that not work for me earlier? That didn't work. Okay, so maybe we have to rotate it back to zero degrees. Is that how it works? I actually don't know. Does this get treated as a- Oh, okay. So, so this rotates it to a point that's 180 degrees from the default. And then this rotates it back to the default. That's strange. Because this looks like as a trigger, it's doing nothing. Because it's got no degrees on it. This is just so bizarre to me. Gonna have a little section with a cube jump into this portal. And it's gonna start off as zoom. Where is the zoom trigger for the camera? Here we go. We're gonna put a zoom with an ease in out. It's going to go to like 1.5 times. It's going to last like four seconds too. So this is just going to help us zoom in for this ship section to be much more climactic. And then we can have like a boom right there that goes into a cube duel, I guess. Why not? So then to unzoom this, <laughs> which is such a weird thing to say, I guess you just put like a 0.25 one times zoom. That's a 10. Oopsie. Okay, nice. We have to half step this up. We're trying to make a nice flowy layout here. And it's not flow as in like, oh, GD flow gameplay from 2.1. I just mean like something that feels nice and smooth to just go through. We don't want it to be too difficult. Random saw blades. I don't know. It just looks cool. The song goes boom, boom, boom. And I want to replicate that with some little zoom triggers. Why not? We've got a point nine. Boom. Warm, okay, to 0.8, and then we can have a big zoom back up to one. Five seconds, why not? Just gonna do some simple dual gameplay that you, ooh, that's gonna hit the ceiling. Uh, that uses yellow pads and then lets us jump with the other side, why not? I wonder if we can rotate the camera to go upwards here, kind of like Howard did in his level dastardly, the final duel at the end. I wonder if we can just slowly rotate this up to 90 degrees, two seconds, something like that. This is probably going to kill me. Oh, it looks weird. <laughs> okay. Let's instead put a snappy one that makes it so you do it after you hit the yellow orb. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay, we can do some pretty simple structuring here just because it's going to be pretty difficult to read. We're only going to do that for a short amount of time. We're going to go back to zero after this jump. Put a little exit section into a ship again just to transition us back to the regular stuff. I'm also putting a hidden blue portal inside here to make sure with the correct gravity going through. I just move it after the duel. Duels can be a little bit weird to exit with with gravity, so I don't see why not. I might put a coin up here where you have to fly straight up as the ship and get a little collectible. Where are they? We have plenty of options for a collectible. Yeah, I swear this is the icon I saw at the beginning. Is it not? Did I just see a collectible? Collect? 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 Collectible. Why don't we put like a lightning one and that can disable some sort of field in the level. I don't know. That might be cool. Okay. Now I want to enter a section where, okay, let's not put spikes inside the blocks. Come on. We're just going to go through a big corridor, but we're going to put area move triggers in because I've been, I've really been liking those. I'm not going to lie. And I know I've been using a lot of area triggers in 2.2, but I really just want to use them right here because I think they're really fascinating. Maybe we can have some sort of electrical field in here. This is what I'm going to do. So where are the electric objects now? Are they in this tab? 
Yes, they are. Okay, well, that's too big. We can just do this. I'm gonna put this spider orb in at the bottom, so there's a bit of intrigue as you're playing through normally. Like, oh, how do you hit that? But obviously, there's a giant collectible thing here, so maybe uh, I could scale this down and hide it a bit more. Like, surely I can just place the... No. Place this. No. Give me the object. Give me the... Yeah. Here. That's a that's a better place to put it, I think. This is a terrible coin, but we're doing it anyway. I'm gonna make a little staircase to go down to the bottom. Just making a little staircase that goes down to the very bottom of the level. Maybe there can be a little staircase going up, just to match it, but not all the way up, because I kind of like the fact that it starts down here. Do more electricity. Yeah, okay, this is cool. And now, based on whether you're the correct gravity with the spider orb or not, there's gonna be a different path that happens here, I think. Just gonna put a little section where you grab onto the ceiling with the force block that we did earlier. We should probably copy the particle over. We gotta make this much neater. Where is the coin? I swear the coin used to be in this tab. I never used to place coins though, so I would have no idea. Maybe they're in this tab? I don't actually know. Yeah, they are. Okay, cool. And they spin in the editor, which is pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Oh, they actually grab in the editor. That's so cute. I don't like having just big platforms with no spikes on the edge. So oh, are you kidding me? Scale down. Righty. So, I'm going to select all of these objects just until the end of the cube part. So, all of these are green now. We're going to give them group number two. And there's going to be an area move trigger way before any of this ever exists that's targeting group number two. The center is player one for the group. So, then we just increase the length and we add a little movement here, a little angle. Now, when we play... Oh, that's not what we want, dude. Come on. Do we want no move angle? Is that the thing that I want to do? No, that moves everything down. Stop it. Oh, what the heck? How have I managed that? What on earth? Okay, relative does some crazy stuff. We want to just like blow it up a little bit around me. Yeah, why not? That looks sick, right? Yo, I've kind of went off there, not gonna lie. This update is so cool. I barely even did anything and now I have like a little blowing up effect. Oh God, I gotta be careful because this is kind of weird. Look at the little jump I got from the block. Oh, and that can break too. Interesting. Okay, make that a bit longer. This just requires extra testing, that's all. It's fine. I like it. Oh, yeah, look at that. I just bounced. Maybe we should just make this a blue orb instead. I like the idea of the spider orb, but this is fine, I guess. Or do I do a little pad? That's probably better. It's probably gonna work more. Less inputs, less stress, just a better coin overall. Need to add that to the group, though. Number two. Here we go. Land. Switch. Nice. That's much better. Awesome. Okay. Let's test this gameplay that we've made in this video, starting from this ship with the rotating screen. Oh my goodness, it's so cool. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the rest of the episodes in the series, by the way. This is going to be awesome. I'm loving making just a layout again. This is this is fantastic. And this plays so well, like no bugs in sight. I just realized with this collectible, we can make a touch triggered area fade effect. It has a bit of variance in its length, but when you get it, it fades the blocks down around the player, maybe. Yeah, that makes it a bit harder and a lot cooler too. That's neat. Dude, I love it. These triggers are so well integrated. I'm going to get this in normal mode and then we're going to round off the video because this has been a banger episode. Make sure you subscribe. As I said, we're going to be posting this once a week, maybe. Maybe a little bit more if I feel a bit more inspired. Why not? I forgot to get the collectible. At least now you can see the difference between getting it and not getting it. <laughs> Okay, so remember to get it at the end of the duel. We'll see. Come on. I know it's vertical and it's hard to remember, but there we go. Now it fades in. I died. It's harder like this, dude. I'm excited to make this a layout and then use it to test other features like camera controls and whatever else I think of, like any functionality that I want to try out with this update. Dude, that's so cool. I love it. Yeah, I have to keep going silent to focus, sorry. But yeah, what a bang episode. This level is turning out really great. Thank you so much for watching this John Dash layout video. I don't know if this is a demon. It's probably not. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll maybe we'll maybe buff it a little bit and make it my first 2.2 demon. Check the links in the description. Leave a like and subscribe and have a good day.